Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a 2020 GNU anti-gravity all-mountain freeride snowboard designed for basically anyone, uh, beginners to advanced level riders. I'd say you know higher level beginners would really come to enjoy it more than a beginner really learning how to ride on this thing. Uh, this is a great directional freeride board. It carves hard, it's stable at high speeds, and it's at a low price point, which is really nice. This is anti-gravity and features a very nice uh, kind of topographic style map, textured top sheet, which is cool. Uh, this is a directional board. The, set, uh, the stands are set back a full inch within the contact points. Uh, the nose is slightly longer. There's a little bit higher rise to it. And the tail up kicks pretty fast past that tail contact point. The cool part about the anti-gravity though is that it features a C3 profile shape. You'll see that it has a nice camber style arc, camber dominant, with a little bit of rock in between the feet that's raised up. So what that does is still causes the contact point to be catchy, but it still has loads of power and energy. So it flicks fast edge to edge. And one thing that I've noticed about the fairly large side cut radius of the anti-gravity and the combination of the C3 profile shape is that at the tail's uh, kind of contact, it really snaps you out of it fast. It almost feels as if it's a progressive side cut radius, even though it's not. Uh, the feel and flex rating is about a solid four-ish, five, um, but it's not stiffer than your average style deck. Now inside of this thing is a, uh, a wood core, of course, but it's an eco-friendly G1 wood core. There's tip to tail aspen with two strips of polonium, uh, one on the heel edge, one on the toe side edge, of course, uh, to make it just a little bit more lightweight. GNU has added in uh, Biax fiberglass to the base to make it, you know, torsionally soft, but still strong, and then Triax on top to team it up with that C3 camera dominant profile to give it a little bit more lively energy. Um, but, you know, uh, it also features a co-extruded base, which keeps the price point down. This is a low maintenance base. We really won't have to do much to it throughout the season. And then lastly, uh, there's that matted traction edge. There's mellow matted traction, sudden serrated knife-like blade edges down that side cut radius to help to grip on firm snow. Uh, overall though, uh, the hypercarb is a great deck. Now, uh, there are some differences between this and a couple of the other decks, or uh, the anti-gravity, uh, between this and the hypercarb style board, but I like this. For, for someone who wants to get into a, 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 pretty, a pretty aggressive style um, directional all-mountain freeride board without having to cost a lot, but without being too aggressive, uh, this is a really good one. And the best feeling that I get riding anti-gravity is again, exiting out of those turns, it really flicks you out fast. There's a good amount of energy to this deck. Uh, this is the anti-gravity. You can check it out uh, by selecting the link below in the description. Uh, leave a comment or a question, let me know what you think of the deck. From, you know, rumor on the street is that uh, GNU's been kind of developing this board for over 20 years, so it's kind of special, I guess. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there, and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow.